I think it's fair to say I'm a little bit late to the party here, but I have purposely avoided looking at the uh, Joker trailer so that I can react to it um, firsthand without having to um, get it spoiled for me. Now, everybody's freaking out about this trailer. It's a musical, apparently. Um, e even though the thing about it is there was a long time ago, there was a there was a Joker comic where he literally made a music album. So I I I I I understand where why people are upset. Now, like and like and subscribe. Um I'm going to get copyright not struck, but I'm going to get a copyright thing. I already guarantee because WB does not play. So, might take a hit on my uh, channel, but I don't know. Let's just react and I'll pause when something major. Let's go, boys. It's so hot. Thank you, Hey, Fleck, you got a joke for us today? Oh, there's Lady uh, Gaga. All right. We use music to make us whole to balance the fractures within ourselves. Also, sorry, just like one thing. For for everybody who wants Joaquin Phoenix's Joker to be a part of the Battinson verse, he's too old. This Joker would be like in his 70s fighting a Batman who's like in his 30s. Like that really would not mesh well. Now, personally, just to just just to keep the synergy, should they? Yes, Joaquin Phoenix should be Battinson's Joker, but they didn't know that Battinson was going to be their Batman when they started making the first movie. They knew by the time that the movie came out, but they couldn't. But they but they they couldn't change anything. But yes, Joaquin Phoenix should be Bat should be Pattinson's Joker, but he's not going to be and. Just let it go, you know. Like we we have to see what happens. We have to see what happens in order for like Pattinson's Joker could be good. He could be good. He 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 could be bad. We don't know. We have to try. I know that we 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 like to just feel comfortable with stuff that we already know. I completely get that, but. Imagine we had kept Ben Affleck's Batman movie. That would not have been as successful or as well revered, I think, as Pattinson's was. Because that past movie was meant to be Affleck's movie. That that was his film. So, just wanted to put that out there. I'm nobody. I haven't done anything with my life like you have. Let's get out of here. Tell us what's changed, Arthur. I'll tell you what's changed. We're not alone anymore. Huh. That's what we okay, should be then. talking about. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. See, here's the thing, okay? My my biggest issue with the first movie was that you should not humanize Joker. Joker is not a person that should be humanized. He's a monster who murders innocent people. There, the Killing Joke tried to humanize him, but that was a one-off story. Okay. In the in the main canon, Joker should not be humanized. So for them to go so far as to not only humanize him, but it seems like in this movie, make him the moral compass over Harley Quinn. Does does nobody understand that Harley Quinn is the victim? She is Joker's victim. She is literally the way that she is because Joker groomed her, turned her insane, abused her for many years, forced her to have several miscarriages, literally tried to kill her multiple times. But yet it seems like in this trailer... They're making her to be the one that's making Arthur go back to his old ways. Just asking, does that make sense to you guys? Really, truthfully, does that make sense to you guys? Look, you, you, you guys know me. I'm not one to hate on these kinds of things um, if it's not necessary. But this is pretty stupid, and I'll tell you why. Because Harley Quinn should never be the one driving Joker to be Joker. There shouldn't even be a... He should always be Joker. Why is she driving him to be Joker? That That is the part that, that turns me off. The movie is probably going to be good because the first one, in terms of theatrics, was amazing. It was fantastic. But the ending and the humanizing of, of Joker ruined it for me. In this one, it seems like Harley Quinn is driving Joker to be Joker, and I don't like that. I do not like that. Now, is this manufactured outrage? It could be. It could be. We have to wait and see. We have to wait and see. I'm going to watch it, and we have to wait and see what happens. Apparently, it's three hours. So, I say all that to say, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is going to be good? Do you agree with me that Harley Quinn is driving Joker, or do you not? Let me know. Be honest with me. I'll talk to you guys.